Hello and welcome back to another another video. Today we are talking about Tropical Storm Rose, which has formed in the Atlantic. So let's start off here with the current stats for this storm. Starting off with maximum sustained winds, this storm has 40 mile per hour sustained winds, has a minimum central pressure of 1,005 millibars, and is moving north northwest at 16 miles per hour. So let's kick off this video with our our forecast cone which shows that this is going to remain a tropical storm through into Wednesday and then it becomes a tropical depression from there but this storm all although it did form off of the African shoreline is moving more toward the center of the Atlantic than the west so that is a different track than we usually see and even though this storm is coming right off the coattails of Peter, this storm is taking a different track from Peter. So here's your route time winds with wind speed probabilities turned on. And you can see here that this storm is pretty small. So from this, we can get a lot of information. So starting off here with the size of the storm, you can see that the smaller the width of this quote unquote cone is the smaller the storm is and then as it moves out it does get larger signifying that the storm is going to spread out and that's when we see it move more toward a depression than a tropical storm now we could also tell that this storm is going to remain at a similar strength for most of its lifespan and then right after monday 8 p.m this decreasing uh, percentage is more due to margin of error than due to the weakening of the storm although this storm will weaken by the time we get into Wednesday Thursday but just the fact that uh, it goes from 60 to 70 percent chance from now until Monday at 2 p.m. down gradually until Tuesday 8 p.m. that's margin of error and then going down from Tuesday 8 p.m. to Thursday 8 a.m. is both the storm weakening as well as margin of error so this is the current satellite imagery of the storm and the interesting about this storm the interesting thing is that there are two areas of circulation so if you see here is more visible right now there is a area of rotation in here that started to go away and that left this center of rotation to really take over so it just had to consolidate pick one area of low pressure and now we do have uh, a pretty well-developed tropical storm we have a lot of thunderstorm convection we have some outer bands as well right over here and we have that defined area of rotation now so here is the current storm information starting off with our global and hurricane models so we have most models up for the next 48 to 72 hours showing this straight north northwest path up to about like 23 degrees north. From there, there is very little consensus on the path. Could bear off to the west, could stay going north northwest, could do a little twist and turn towards the northeast. That's where you get that larger cone and the uncertainty goes up. So the GEFS is showing a straight line path now uh, from now through 96 hours and then a slight turn toward the northeast. And these individual spaghetti strands, as I like to call them, are pretty close to that median or mean uh, line here, this black line. So that does show a little bit of consensus within the GF GEFS. So here is the GEPS, which is the exact opposite of the GEFS. We have a little bit of a twist and turn around 48 hours. By 96 hours, it's going more west-northwest. And by 144 hours, it's almost going straight west. But these individual spaghetti strands go everywhere. We have a few that go east, a few that does like a couple twists and turns, different intensities, and this these oranges yellows greens shows different 
intensities of the low in terms of millibars. And we also have others going off to the west and increasing in strength. So the GEPS is all over the place. Finally, we have the intensity guidance for the storm, and you can see here that most of the models show this as remaining at a tropical storm for strength, and then slightly declining from about 48 hours till the end of the storm's lifespan, so that shows that we can see some gradual decline in the storm after the next 48 hours or so. So here's the Euro European Ensemble, which kind of shows that straight line path, but then it has a bunch of jumbly mess over here right after 30 degrees north. So, but up until that point, it's pretty straight. So kind of a combination of both the GEFS and the GEPS. Now we have the HWRF Hurricane model, and let's just take quick look at this so we can see that the storm does kind of hover around and intensify and get degraded a little bit not really finding a clear area of low pressure till right about here where we do see some rotation but at that point it is pretty far north so it really doesn't get it all together but that doesn't mean this storm doesn't have what it takes to stay a tropical storm for long but we do have just some varying intensity as well as some varying wind speeds here. And this is the 23rd, so Thursday. And at this point, it is a tropical depression. So this storm is an odd one. Um, we don't see storms like this every day. So we just have to take a look at this. It won't be making any real impacts on land. Uh, it did pass the Cape Verde Islands, so this is a fish storm, primarily, so we don't have to worry too much about significant impacts to land, but it's just another disturbance here in the Atlantic, and continuing the trend of a very active peak of the hurricane season, Although the technical peak of hurricane season is September 10th every year, just generally in September we do see a lot of tropical development. And as of right now, we just had uh, Nicholas, Odette, and now we have Peter and Rose. So we're seeing a lot of tropical development at the moment. And that doesn't seem like it's going to show any signs of slowing anytime soon. So we might be seeing more storms come off of the African shoreline and develop. So this is just one to watch and see what it does. But as of right now, no immediate land impacts. But that is all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. And I will see you guys next time.